Welcome back, Mind Your Biz audience. My name is Seth. You're watching Mind Your Biz, and I have the rare treat of being able to interview somebody who's a proper market analyst. I'm going to welcome to today's episode, Bill Noble, who started as an intern, get this, with J.P. Morgan all the way back during the first Gulf War. He's seen some things. He's gone some places. He's known some people and done some significant work for some groups that I think has gives uh, gives him a very unique perspective on cryptocurrency markets. But among those would be crisis management at Goldman Sachs in 2008 of all times, but then started in crypto around 2017 with a guy named Charlie Shrum. You may have heard of him. So kind of a noted Bitcoin maximalist, but as of 2019, became essentially employee number one and then senior market analyst at a group called Token Metrics with Ian Bellina. Bill, welcome to the channel. Hi, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, we've been threatening to do this, I think, for a couple of weeks, and we finally got it on the books, and here we are. So uh, I'm so glad that you're able to make time for this. Uh, I spoke with with one of your associates, Zach, about the token metrics offering. My audience is aware that I've started putting links as an affiliate in the description of my video, but they haven't fully they haven't got the full story as to why I would make a decision like that, uh, like that. And I figured rather than just try to explain it myself, I would much prefer to have an expert who knows the platform and knows all the reasons that it was created far better than I could articulate. So I really appreciate you taking time to do this. All right, so let's let's get started. So token metrics, what does it do? Um, it helps get you out when there's trouble. Uh, it helps get you in when there's a rally and helps you figure out what to get in, including like, sectors and maybe even portfolios and we've got something that's very valuable for anybody who's into ta as i am we've got support and resistance levels drawn by ai and machine learning the things that work best in technical analysis are the things that everyone can't see everyone's looking at trading view not a lot of people are looking at what we have so if you want me i can just i can just sort of dive right in here yeah, I would love that. If you have something to, to share on screen, that's great. All right, here comes the screen share. All right, so welcome welcome to the Token Metrics Markets page. So once you log in, you know, you'll go to market. Now, what you're seeing here is a graph of total crypto market cap. So the first thing that'll strike you is that on November 2021, there was a red signal. Now, where did that red signal come from? Well, it comes from TA, right? And then it, it has a splash of actually academic mathematics that's bunched together and given to a machine. And the machine literally learns from this information. So it gets smarter over time. So that's what we do, AI and machine learning. So, okay. I mean, you know, pardon the interruption, but it sounds like also you are, you're relying on some really smart people too to feed those initial data points. That's right. So Token Metrics is, is a company, right? So they've got, you know, a team of analysts, right? I, I, I work on TA and macro markets. Behind the scenes are the technology teams that build some of this stuff, right? We put the work of the machines with the work of the humans to give you a really unique offering. So there's this, and then there's the reports that I write, the stuff I do on YouTube. So with this, you know, you got this signal at 2.8 trillion in total crypto market cap which is probably like you know 50k bitcoin to exit right and that's when we suspected a bear market started frankly that's when the fed kind of you knew the fed was going to go on the war path i think everybody knew inflation was probably out of control well before the end of last year now nobody knew who how out of control it was but this waterfall in total crypto market cap you know, it's like we had a little advance warning. Then there was a rally, all right? And then this is when I came up with this saying I did on YouTube. It was called, beware the failed rally. Because in March, it went bullish. But then in April, it turned around and went bearish again. And that's when we came up with the theme, sell in May and go away, right? It, that comes from the history of equities, right? Sell in May and go away. And that turned out to be way more right than even I thought, okay, as this thing cascaded lower. Okay, so this is the kind of the get you out part. Now, if we go down to this, this is a little interesting thing we have. So 
we have something, you know, this takes into account the red and green signals that you saw above. But the black line is total crypto market cap, okay? The green line is total altcoin market cap, and the gold line is Bitcoin. Now, let's go back over to July of 2021. See how tight it was between altcoin and Bitcoin market cap at the bottom in July? Yeah. Well, guess what, folks? We're looking for the same thing over here. When these, when these numbers get really compressed, that's probably the end and the buy point. And obviously, as you can see, we're not there yet. Now, another little catchy thing we have, and this speaks to like the future, right? This is sector analysis. So we have something called the token metrics grade. So again, it's all that AI stuff. And, you know, when the market's going down, the grades will fall. Like in Luna, the grade tanked before Luna did, right? We can, uh -huh. right? In other words, so, so you, you can have a little bit of a warning then. Right. That what we look for are movements in the grades before movements in the price. So we want to see a grade moon from 30 to 80 before the price has moved, right? In Luna, it was the opposite. The grade went from 80 to 20. And price never like managed to rally, and then price collapsed. Wow! So, so, so in this case, it sounds case, like you had an opportunity. Pardon the interruption. Sounds like you had, okay. had an opportunity during that descent of the of the token metrics grade to start investigating a little bit if you had seen that indicator. Right with Luna, what happened was I remember specifically the grade rolled over, and then price started to uptick. Right, and then I saw the grade didn't tick back bullish. Neither did our visual trends indicator, which is like that first thing I showed you, except for individual coins. So I was like, hmm, the machine's not buying this rally. And, you know, I was cautious on YouTube, but I had no idea it was going to zero. But you could have gotten yourself out with that for sure, right? On this page, we have sectors, right? So you can see yield farming had a score going into today before today's debacle. 71%. Exchange tokens, 64 and derivatives at 60. Derivatives were actually higher, okay, recently. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, centralized exchanges, what hedge fund is going to leave their money on a centralized exchange? Oh, as of how today? would you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, right. I, how would you explain that to anybody? Oh yeah, I put my money on Qcoin and Qcoin stopped withdrawals. Oh my god, you're so fired. Right? So uh, it, before, before you know, some of the disturbances that we've got as of this recording, you could see through this that like derivatives were taking off. Exchange tokens, like decentralized trading of things like options, just like standard stuff, started taking off. So this will allow me to click on the top token like GMX in the derivative sector. And here's kind of the thing I'm talking about where the grade moved from 39 oh, wow. all the way up to 80, right? Yeah, and then, yeah. seeing, seeing the yeah. chart here, I mean, it, it, I, I saw the score before and I'm like, eh, that, that doesn't sound like a, a really good range, but seeing, seeing the, the action of that score here over time, that's impressive. Right. So, you, you know, you see the score move and, you know, I don't know if I can get the, the let me see if I can get the TA for this up. So there's the green buy signal in this. So the momentum indicator is going with it. And, you know, the grade actually went up as this thing was moving up or a little bit before. So the point is you want to play the game on our ratings page of looking at these graphs, looking at the summary graph. You want to find grades that are mooning, okay, before the coin does. We actually have an analyst that we cheat a little bit. We actually like to see... You know, like say the score was 30. We want to track, say, on big exchanges if something goes from like 30 to 60. If a score, if the AI goes, hey, right? So that's part of the homework. Now, another part of the homework is, you know, what to buy and when. So, for example, say you are a day trader. Uh, this is for the KuCoin exchange, and we have it for a wide variety of exchanges. This will be like what we recommend for the day. Not investment advice, but this is the top AI grades 
you know, and the AI mixes it together. So if the market's going up, this can be a great way to have a portfolio or pick stuff that you like just from this, right? You don't have to sort through a million coins. You look here, but in a down market, check this out, right? You know, an altcoin exchange primarily, 16% DAI, 16% Tether, 16% stable coins. So just like in equities, right? If you got a, if you got an artificial intelligence going, hey, you know what? I think we want to put 40% in cash. That for our indices is telling you that there could be trouble, right? And I've seen instances where it goes to 100% cash and then the market drops 15% in one day. Wow. So, so on the way up, this tells you what to get in. And it also says, all right, what does the AI think of the market on a day-to-day -day basis? Now, speaking of that, <clears throat> the question everyone's asking is, <laughs> when is all this going to stop? Like, when can the market go back up again? Okay, well, there's two answers to that. One, it's when the Fed probably realizes that, you know, inflation has topped and so has economic growth and world economies, right? Now, the short answer from a TA point of view goes like this. So this is for Bitcoin, okay? This is our automated support and resistance levels. So these lines are not drawn the way you would draw them on TradingView. They're drawn by machine learning and AI. So one thing you'll notice is that there was resistance at 21K, you know, and hopefully you're watching this one day and Bitcoin's at 250K and you can have a laugh, right? right? Okay. But <clears throat> there's support at 19,390. Now, if that doesn't hold, the next level is 15,800. So this 16K level shows up across the board. And one of the things that we're telling people, and again, this is where the humans meet the machines, right? We're telling people that if this thing goes to 16K, you know, you might want to start DCA at that level, right? To say, all right. You know, I'll take it at 18, 17, 16, 14, 12, and see sure. what happens. Sure, right? yeah. Don't don't try to jump in and catch the falling knife if if we get to 16K is what you're saying. Just just be do what humans can do. Well, do what do what humans can do, yes, but do what humans can do at levels located by the machine. Now, speaking of the machine, this is what we call the visual trends indicator. So this is what I was showing you for, you know, total crypto market cap, except I'm showing it to you for, you know, my pet, my pet coin, the box of chocolates under the bed, Zcash. Okay. I heard Snowden talking about, you know, this at consensus. Okay. Uh, obviously the sell signal was here back in April at 145. Now the question is, Where's the bottom? Okay. Well, how about how about an instance where sort of the bear market runs home to mama? It goes back where it started from. It ends where it began. Because bear markets love, you know, markets love symmetry. So back on April 16th of 2020, so that's post-COVID debacle, the first buy signal in Zcash was at 38. So if you're trying to find the bottom, you've got AI support and resistance levels, and you just use common sense. It was like, well, where did this computer think the bull market started? And it, it started at 38. And with Zcash, you know, uh, I'm really into it because one of the things that Snowden hinted is that no one's going to do a transaction, and I put in no one's going to do a transaction in the metaverse or in DeFi if someone can look in your wallet and see how much money you have. Like when you go to Macy's and buy something for your kids, you know, you pay with the card, but they don't know your whole financial history. All right. So that that's the token metrics kind of that's the token metrics overview, right? Um, we've also got something called um, we've got research.tokenmetrics.com, right? Which is simply a a research site where we've got free research along with you know, you can read, obviously, free stuff, and then you can read two premium articles per month. So it's yeah, the human. 
And I, I guess, part, so pardon the interruption, I'm, I'm really excited to synthesize some of those premium articles and without giving it away, be able to bring some, just a little bit out of that intelligence back to the Mind Your Biz audience. Like, I'm really looking forward to that, Bill. Right. So here, uh, and, and we appreciate you showing it to your audience. We do. So, <clears throat> you know, this is, this is what the latest newsletter looks like. Okay. And I called it the ghost of Lehman Brothers. Okay. Lehman Brothers was an investment bank. It was the three arrows capital of 2008. It's actually the first time I've said that. You got to <laughs> use these analogies when you're, when you're kind of old. Right. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> one of the things that's amazing about 2008 is that Lehman Brothers went bankrupt on the 15th of September. And everyone thought that was it. Remember this, you know, we have relief rallies after big events sometimes. Now, it's tough to see, but there was a big spike. There was a big relief rally. It's like, oh my God, Lehman's bankrupt. It's over. Just like, oh, three hours capital's over or, Celsius liquidation points at zero. Wrong. Yeah, okay, no, cool. I, yeah, no, Bill. Those of us who remember remember very vividly that was that was the most exciting, for better for worse, most exciting quarter of our lives up to that point. That's right. And then you know what happened was on liquidation, panic hedging, S and P just waterfalled lower and went down thirty percent. So you know we're trying to get our customers ready. You know these support and resistance levels that are in our newsletter. They come from the AI, and they also come from GAN work that I do kept by hand. So to at Tokenmetrics, we want to bring it all together and, and give you a research offering uh, you know, that, that you would get at an investment bank or at a quant hedge fund, except it's for, you know, it's for the retail investor. It's awesome. Yeah, I definitely, I was impressed the first time that I had a, a, a an initial walkthrough of the token metrics platform and the offering. And I really appreciate you taking the time to go over some of these, these key points. And, and I realize you're not cherry picking. I mean, this is just what the, what the platform does. This is how it is every day, day in, day out. Uh, it's got those really great data points, those really great insights that anybody who's yeah working from the retail side, right. Doesn't, doesn't employ an army of analysts on their behalf. Um, it helps that person out to just, to just uh, upskill, right. Their, their market intelligence, uh, without having to make sacrifices, without having to worry about whether or not the the intel is good, or or any of the feeds are are okay, or at least um, at least somewhat safe. Like I noticed a lot of those those uh, recommended uh, buy and sell marks there, that they're not what most people would consider like aggressive, uh, like uh, aggressive points. Like they're actually relatively conservative. No, like with great confidence that there is a move down, uh, or that there is a move up. Like uh, it, it made a lot of sense to me when I saw it the first time. And I really appreciate you going through it just a little bit more in depth this time too. Right. It, it's good because in a bear market, it helps you preserve capital, right? Where people get wrecked is when they hold it. They say my portfolio, it doesn't matter. And then it goes to zero. When that thousand dollars that you maybe had left, you know, might 10 X the next time it turns up. So when the market's going down, we want you to preserve capital. When the market's going up, we want you in higher quality stuff or at least, you know, small cap stuff that's showing the signs of a rally so you get in before everyone else does. Awesome. Well, definitely appreciate you giving us the walkthrough there. Bill, I know that you're publishing, I think, on your own channel, but also the Token Metrics channel. Is that right? Right. So on the Token Metrics YouTube channel, uh, I do the market update every day. So essentially, it's like what Jim Cramer does for stocks. If anybody knows who's he, who's who he is, uh, I try to be as accurate as possible, basically telling you, you know, tomorrow's weather today, right? Awesome. Featuring what I do and token metrics work. Yeah. In my humble opinion, I think the difference between you and Jim is that you're not trying to prep at your exit liquidity. You're actually trying to help people. <laughs> <laughs> so. So I appreciate that you do that. Uh, so to my audience, if you're not already checking out Bill's work, clearly he's putting in the time. Clearly he has the right tools. And if you're curious about Token Metrics, the platform, I've got an affiliate link in the description of this video that you can follow to check it out yourself. Uh, try out whatever 
uh, current promotions are going at the time of recording or at the time that you see this or the time you watch it in the future. There may be some promotions that are active at that time. That link will update, of course, to give you the best possible promotional deal that's available at that time. But do try it out. Check it out. Kick the tires. Bare minimum. I think you'll be as impressed as I am. Otherwise, I would not have taken it on as an affiliate. I do have that much conviction. So, Bill, thank you again so much for this. Appreciate it. Hey, time. thanks for having me.